Today, I'm going to give you five essential plugins for Premiere Pro and After Effects that you need to know if you're making sports videos. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today, like I said, I'm gonna give you five essential plugins that you need to know for Premiere Pro and After Effects that are gonna help you if you're making sports videos. So first, before we get into these five plugins, I wanna start with an honorable mention. FX Console is an amazing utilitarian plugin for After Effects. It just speeds up your workflow because it allows you to, instead of going to the effects panel and searching for your effects and then dragging them into your composition, to just select a layer and then click spacebar and command. And it gives you a little search panel where you can type in whatever effect you're looking for and then click enter. And that effect automatically applies to your layer. This will save you so many clicks. And if you're doing a lot of work in After Effects, then it's gonna save you a ton of time and just allow you to take your creative ideas from your head to the computer and export them as a video file faster. So even though this plugin isn't specifically for sports, I love it for that. And I think that any videographer, sports videographer or otherwise should have it. All right, the next plugin that I think you should have for sports videography is Premiere Composer from Mr. Horse. This is a plugin that has a paid version and a free version, but even if you don't wanna pay for the paid version, you can just get the free version. And I love that they have a bunch of text presets and animation presets. This is really nice if you're making a mix and you wanna like show the player's name and maybe a little subtitle about them right at the start of the video. So you can like take one of their presets and instead of having to go into After Effects and make a whole text motion graphic for this player, if you're short on time, you can just take a preset text animation, write the player's name in, write like how many points they had or like something about them, what team they play for, whatever you want, and just put that at the start of your video. And they're very customizable, so you can make it fit the team's branding. And it just saves a lot of time when you get to the end of a project and you're trying to like add those like motion graphics and extra little touches, but you just don't have a lot of time left before the project is due. Everything I just talked about comes from the free version, so you don't even have to pay money for it. So I definitely think it deserves a spot on this list. Number four on the list is Red Giant Universe from, well, Red Giant and this plugin is, well, firstly paid, but it's amazing because it gives you this huge array of effects like hollow matrix, glitches, glows, like chromatic aberration, all these like things that can be really time consuming to create in Premiere Pro or After Effects. It gives them to you in a drag and drop format, which allows you to add a lot of effects and flair to your edits in a super quick and easy way. Now, the reason that I've put this a little bit further back on the list is one, it's pretty expensive. And second, a lot of these effects can be created by just like taking the time to do them. Like I've done tutorials on this channel on how to like do an RGB glitch. And like our Red Giant Universe can do an RGB glitch for you, but you don't need it for that. Like there's other ways of doing these things that are a little time consuming, but it can be rewarding to do them yourself and it can be a little bit more customizable. Still, I think Red Giant Universe has a ton of value to offer. And if you have the money for it, then go for it. Also, they have deals for students. So if you're a student, look into Red Giant student deals, you might be able to get it on a discount or maybe even for free. I think that was something they were doing at some point. Not sure if that still applies. But anyways, Red Giant Universe is a great plugin that I think all sports videographers should have. Number three on our list is the Pixel Sorter plugin available on aescript.com. I love this plugin because it's a really Really great way to add this like cool trippy glitch effect that you can't really make with any of like the drag and drop native presets in After Effects to your videos. This plugin is paid, it costs about $30, but you only have to buy it once and I've been using it in videos for years. I love the look it gives you. It allows you to basically take the actual pixels in your video file and sort them based on like hue, lumosity, saturation, a whole bunch of other factors that you can go and pick out. And you can like smear them around, create these little digital glitch artifacting effects. There's a whole bunch of ways you can do this in After Effects. I recommend that you like play around with it a little bit. I'm gonna make a tutorial on specifically how I use Pixel Sorter in sports videos. So stay tuned for that. If it's already out by the time you're watching this video, then it'll be linked up here. But I love this Pixel Sorter plug. And if you have $30 and you're looking for like a cool new effect that you can use in some of your videos, then I definitely recommend you check it out. Again, everything's gonna be linked down in the description. All right, so plugin number two on the list is Red Giant Denoiser. I know I already talked about some other Red Giant plugins and Red Giant Universe, but I really think that Denoiser deserves a spot on its own because I use Red Giant Denoiser in like basically every video I make. I find there's always one shot that looks better denoised than not denoised. And what I really love about Denoiser is that well, you can take a shot that's otherwise not usable and by putting denoiser on it, you can find a way to work it into your edit. Some gyms that you might walk into to film a basketball edit, for example, don't have the best lighting. And like, there's not much you can do about it. You can't just 
change the panels in the gym and like create more light inside. So sometimes you'd have to shoot wide open and un use underexposed footage, it is what it is. But with denoiser, you can now lift the exposure on that footage, denoise it to remove some of that grain. And although it makes the image look a little bit soft and a little bit unnaturally sharpened, it does bring the footage from a place that's unusable to a place that's usable. And if you have footage that's actually properly exposed, but just has a little bit of noise in the shadows, then just dropping denoiser on it, using it lightly, can make that footage look really high quality, even if it's shot with a camera that necessarily isn't the highest quality. I would recommend that if you don't want to invest in the whole Red Giant package, that you look at just getting denoiser individually, because it's really worth it. I use it in most of my videos, you will too. I know there's some other competitors out there like Neat Video. I haven't actually used Neat Video, but I've heard that it's pretty good, so I'd recommend looking into that as well. But if you're not already using a denoising plugin, you definitely should be. All right, and here we are at number one, the number one plugin for sports videographers for Premiere Pro and After Effects, at least in my opinion, is Sabre. Sabre is an amazing plugin from Video Copilot. I have done multiple tutorials on it and it's a great way for you to create fire effects, electricity effects, energy effects, and add these to your videos in like really cool stylistic ways. It really makes your videos look like something out of a video game or a comic book, and it is totally free. I actually don't know how this plugin is free, because like the effects that it lets you create are just ridiculous. You're probably looking at some of the examples of work that I've done that have Saber on them right now. If you haven't watched my Saber tutorials, I'm gonna link one right here for you. Go check it out. There's tons of applications that you can use Saber for in your sports videos to place emphasis on a certain action or to kind of make someone look like the hero of your video. So I would definitely recommend downloading Saber from Video Copilot. And once you have a good video together, if you wanna make it great, consider using Saber to add a couple extra effects to it. I think you're really gonna get some benefit out of it. Anyways, that's gonna be all for me. Let me know what you thought about this video and what you thought about the plugins that I included on this list. If there's any plugins that you think are really good for sports videographers that I missed, then please include them in the comments down below because I'm sure other people will get some value out of it. And hey, maybe I'll learn about a new plugin too that I can start using. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tutorials just like this one on a regular basis and I would love to have you around for those. Anyways, that is going to be all for this video. So until next time, peace.